Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. Um, I did a little poll on my Instagram. I didn't think anyone would vote, but they did. So that's really good. Thank you guys for voting on my on my poll. Um, and I basically said, would you rather have a lockdown gift guide, which I've already filmed. That is good to go, but I'm going to put that up later on. That will probably be my video in a few weeks. Um, or a charity shop gift. I can't even speak. Charity shop haul. So I thought, you know, I didn't really know where it would go, like what what people would want. And everybody pretty much voted for a um, charity shop haul. Um, it was quite a big difference in percentage. Um, so, yeah, I thought let's crack on. Um, I have addressed the eyelash situation in my gift guide. So you guys can watch that. I've rated the eyelashes. I've spoken about them. I've spoken about the quality, the application process. So just wait for that. And all of you, all of your eye, 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 I can't speak today. All of your at home eyelash extensions queries will be addressed. But I thought we could crack on. I thought we could crack on with the charity shop haul. As I said in my last video, I'm really, really trying to make a conscious effort to be more um, sustainable in my choices. And I had a bit of an obsession for about a month where I literally would go down to the charity shop, get myself a coffee, go to the charity shop pretty much every day. Like just before, it was just before we went into the Christmas lockdown. Um, I was doing most of my work from home anyway just because I wasn't quite comfortable going to school with the, the numbers that were kind of amassing um so I did think that I just wanted to just go and explore it and see I just got really really obsessed with it because I kept finding things and it was just so exciting um so I, I do think that charity shops have a lot to offer um and just if you can do try and go because honestly the stuff that I found in there and you're not going to find something every time it's not like going to a high street shop you're not going to find something every time but it's really worth having a little look because the stuff that you find is unique like nobody else will have that and I think that's so special because you know you you wear it and you're like this is this is mine like nobody else has this so I just thought that I would show you guys what I've got show you guys that there is stuff out there like you don't you know you don't have to there doesn't have to be a stigma around charity shops that it's just for older people you know i think there's so there's so much good stuff there also i will tag in the link in the description but i did actually write an article on this in the cardiff times about charity shops um so if you fancy having a bit more of an in-depth read on that please feel free to have a look i'd love it if you guys had a little read um yeah so just thought we'd thought we'd crack on and start our sustainable journey together right guys have i got a treat for you so i've basically been properly charity shop shopping um since about august because i went on holiday to the lake district which is like our favorite place to go and um popped into the local charity shops they don't have a lot of shops there that aren't selling walking boots so it's quite nice to have a little bit of a change um we were there for two weeks so i thought that you know it'd be nice for me and my mum to pop in have a little look so we did so we did and let me tell you what happened so we went in there and there was just like rail of of clothes and me and mum were like they're nice like they are like they were like looked brand new like top quality so we spoke to lady and she was like um she asked my age kind of what interest and everything i have and she was like that rail over there is a pretty little thing sample rail so pretty little thing it produced some samples whether or not they actually went on the shop, I'm not sure if they were just like little testers, but then had given them to the British Heart Foundation charity shops to have in their, their shops, which I thought was really, really interesting. Um, so I had a little, pro a little browse on the rail. Luckily, a lot of it was in my size because I was sort of not sure because I know that um, my size is quite, I don't know, like sometimes I feel like sample rails um, can have really, really small sizes, like four to six. So I wasn't sure if my size would be on there, but it was. There was quite a few little items on there that were really, really nice. So I bought some things and they were all like £1, £2.50. So I thought I'd show you those. Um, and then more recently, I've kind of been in my local charity shop, um, which is a St. David's 
um, charity shop looking for little bits. So let's dive right in. So I'll start with the more the items I got in summer because I feel like that's maybe more. We can start with that. What the hell is on? Lies. Right. So first item is this beautiful flowy kind of chiffon skirt never in my life did i think i'd buy something like this but i was obviously feeling the mamma mia vibes when i bought this and i absolutely love it i actually wore this on holiday with a white crop top and like a slick bun and it just it's so beautiful in summer like it's just so like it just feels so comfortable and it's got like a really good stretchy waistband and i just thought this was so nice and i will actually start wearing this soon maybe with some tights for spring but i just thought it was so beautiful so we have this lovely the lovely skirt moment i then got now this is a bit of a hit or miss some of you are gonna love this some of you're gonna be like what the hell so basically this is a little cardigan a little bit like a lilac cardi now on first glance you might think that's a little bit grandma -y. But let me tell you about the styling of this. So I wear this, right? Buttons done all the way up. A bit like this, a bit like this bodysuit. Buttons done all the way up. Tucked into a pair of mum jeans. Nice big chunky black belt. Some biker boots. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Or, alternatively, you could wear this over like a black lacy bralette. I luckily have a bralette that's literally the same colour as this. So a little bit of the lace showing, you know, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit bougie with some jeans, some leather trousers. And you could literally make this part of a really nice looking outfit. But I thought this was so nice. So I bought this in the charity shop. I think it's initially from MS, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, and obviously that goes really, really well with the skirt that I just showed you. Charity shop outfits. Right, so next thing that I bought in this summer. Now, I, again, this is a bit of a hit or miss one, but I really like it. I think this is a bit interesting. Um, some of you might be like, no, no. But listen, the thing, the beauty of charity shops, right, is, you know, in a high street shop or when you're shopping online, you have to be 100% sure you want something because it's pricey. So give a skirt 20 quid, you're thinking to yourself, I have to love this. In the charity shop, you can be so much more experimental. I'm just checking that my eyelash isn't being ripped off by my glasses. Okay, we're good. You can be so much more experimental because you can pick something up for a pound. And you could be like, if I don't like it, it's not really a big deal. But I, I can try it. I can experiment with something that I might not like at first glance. So this is it. It is like a chiffon tennis skirt is how I would describe it with two pleats. Actually, it's not got two pleats. It's got a few pleats. Now, this is why I bought this. The back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her. Now, it ties up and you can have this beautiful tie. Now, I think I should probably do a styling video, actually, for some of these because me telling you how I think I would style them isn't really helpful. But this, with a bandeau, tan, slick back pony, red lip and possibly some tie up heels nude tie up heels now this was on the pretty little thing rail i haven't seen this in the shop so i don't actually shop on pretty little i don't actually tend to shop on pretty little thing anymore um i don't know why i just feel like I've, i shop elsewhere um but I did think, I haven't seen this in the shops, so I'm not sure if this was even even on the website, I don't know. But it is beautiful. And I've yet to wear it because I haven't had anywhere to go. So, but I will definitely be wearing this very, very soon. Okay, so my final thing from the summer was actually this beautiful little soft mini skirt. I wish I could like give this to you to feel because this literally is the softest thing ever. Like I wear this to school and I'm like, beautiful. This actually would look pretty cool with this outfit, I think. What do we think? I don't know why, sorry, it's like 
this is like something else to get this with like tops where like the buttons just don't quite sit right on the top i don't know if that's just me but like not enough for it to be like indecent but just i don't know just doesn't really never mind but yeah so this this was like two pound and it is also from the pretty little thing sale not the sale rail i don't know what you call it like this the sample rail um and i wear this with usually for school i wear this with a the bodysuit that i wore in the video yeah the last week's video with kind of like a chunky cardi i actually have a, a blue balloon sleeved cardigan from nasty girl i actually wear this with it literally looks so cute and i just think you can wear this you can wear this outside of school you can wear this inside school it's just really really cute so yeah that was an absolute find on holiday considering that those items would cost so much in the actual like shops the fact that they were like and the fact that that money because i spent lots of money in the charity shop but i got loads of stuff and to know that it was actually going to a charity made me feel so much better about buying the products okay so let's, let's jump on in to round two so you'll, you'll definitely see a difference in like the tones that i've gone for in this in this section because that was all kind of summer wear whereas this is like autumn winter wear but i found these now i actually went back and got these because i saw them first and thought i do not like those but then i went back and i thought because i'd actually went home and thought about how i'd wear them and there's actually a picture that I put on my Insta stories of me wearing these. They are from Stradivarius, but obviously from charity. And they are this like really kind of tight fitting long leg trouser. Really, really flattering. Good on the bum, good on the waist, you know, they're perfect. And these were, these were literally, I think, £5. Now, I don't know how much Stradivarius normally costs because it's not somewhere that I shop, but I thought that was such a buy. I think these were a 10, size 10, um, and they were the perfect fit, perfect fit. So get yourself down to your charity shop, girls. Right, so item number two, I cannot tell you how much I love this item. I, again, have not had the chance to wear this because I just don't feel I'm giving it justice by walking around the house wearing it, you know? But I found, it's actually like, it, I feel like it jumped straight out of my, my Pinterest board. But I found this waved pattern beige shirt. I love this. This over a bralette or just with like a little camisole underneath with a pair of jeans or a pair of leather, leg leather leggings in this. Don't even get me started. How cute is that? This is originally from Marks and Spencers as well, but it's got these lovely like wide sleeves. And I just think this, with hair up in like a claw clip, some little bits hanging out, leather leggings, white trainers or bike boots, nude heels, the options are endless. And it's just so nice. So that was, a, that was three pound from the charity shop, that, that shirt. They also had a really nice, um, like orange kind of coloured silk shirt that I really wish I'd bought me. I'm having big regrets over that, but let's forget about that because I'll just be thinking about it all night. Um, right, so this is an interesting one because I actually saw this item in Cosmo and Cosmopolitan on a gift guide, and I was like, okay, okay, she's kind of cute, but like I don't want to spend that much on it. And then I found it in the charity shop, so. It is this, is it dog's tooth, dog's tooth pattern? I've got to sleeve it in. Dog tooth pattern, oversized cardi with some lovely buttons. I'm actually missing one, but I've kept it, so I'm gonna sew it back on. Um, but this is just so nice. Do you know what, I might put this on. I'm gonna put this on. Because this is just so nice. Like as a, as a bit of like a, a nice cardi, like this just looks so classy. I'm just obsessed with it girls like look at it like tell me that is not vibe and it's like the gold buttons like the buttons really did it for me because i thought it just looked so nice so that was this was this was three pound two like i just it's baffling and the fact that it's all going to charity i just don't think it can get any better than that personally but you know 
I just think it's amazing. Right, so I think maybe we'll delve into some homeware now. Should we delve into some homeware? Let's delve into some homeware. Right, so one particular afternoon, I was having a really bad day, girls. I was having a really bad day. My driving test got cancelled like the day before and I just was really not feeling it. I might have to stop this video in a minute because my mum's hoovering and I think she's coming in. I'll carry on and then I can always stop it. I did tell her I was filming so she might, she might not. But um, I was having a really bad day and I was like, do you know what? I need to get out of the house because otherwise I'm going to be sat in this room all night being miserable and it's not good enough. I'm going to have to stop a second, guys. I'm back. I'm back. Um, so anyway, am I back? That is the question. Why are Hoovers so misleading? Like they sound like they're like three rooms away and it's like, boom, they're right next to you. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Somebody answer that question. But anyway, um, I was just feeling a bit low and I rang my nan and she basically said that I need to get out of the house. And so I did. And I went down to the charity shop and I was just in there listening to my music, just vibing you know and um, i look in the book section because i always like to get some books in there they always do these typical murder mystery books in there that just fill my time i love them and i came across this absolute beauty the hoover's coming back girls the hoover is coming back okay we're gonna go we're gonna go so i found this this coffee table book called Vogue Beauty. I think this edition does it say when it is? I'm not sure. I need to have a proper read. I started reading it, but its initial price when it came out, I think it's probably 90s. This book was £20, and I got this book for £2.50. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I have a bit of like a, a setup on my chest of drawers which is looking really messy right now but usually looks clean where I actually stack my fashion books on top of one another and have like a little um female figure candle on top and I love it it's actually like my favorite spot in my room um and I thought this would be the perfect like bottom of that pile but it's also interesting like it's just the fact that it's kind of it's vintage so it's kind of talking about like the met tips and tricks of like the nine the eighties and nineties. I'm just fascinated because it's so different to how we to what we consider beauty and skincare and stuff today. Um so I just think the pictures are amazing as well. Like it's just amazing how they approach photography and how they explore like femininity and stuff. I just think it's so interesting. So got this bad boy. This actually made my day. I was smiling for the rest of the day, so it was a good pick me up. Now, second homeware item is actually some frames. Because I'm going to uni this year in a long in a long time, like not for like another like seven months, but still I'm going to uni and I like I'm I'm like I'm starting to think about my my room. I'm starting to think about my room because it's a fresh page. It's a fresh clean slate. Um, and my nan has been collecting some home decor items for me because she's a gem and she works in a charity shop my nan so she actually found me these amazing gold picture frames i've got a little baby one there I've got a little baby one there like i feel like the, the video is not doing this justice but they've got a beautiful gold rim and i've got another more kind of like decent sized one there yeah this is really not this justice i did think maybe in these i could put some maybe like some print out of my pinterest boards onto here because i think that would look really nice on like a desk um and i've got some I could maybe put some little photos like um me and my boyfriend and me and the girls just that kind of thing you know i just think that would be really really nice to have at uni and it would really match the kind of vibes that i'm going for because at the moment i'm thinking sage green and gold sage green that's all we're talking about this this year is sage green if i say it one more time i think somebody in this house is gonna it's gonna kick off because i that's all i say every day now my third home item is actually behind this ipad right so you're gonna have to ignore it a little bit because 
there's a little bit of markings on there because I haven't had the chance to actually go and get some stuff to like to properly clean it and get it like looking brand new but I found this salt lamp now it's a candle salt lamp so it's not like electric or anything but they came in a pair and I only really wanted one because I've been working on my dress like my bedside table and I thought this would be the perfect addition it just gives off a really calming light in the evening um but this was one pound fifty yeah one pound fifty and it's just so nice it's got a little bit of like marks on it but nothing that would be too off-putting you know I think it's just really really nice and it just looks suits my room really really well and like those can be really expensive on Amazon so if you can find things like that like charity shops aren't always the best for homeware but I feel like if you can find some like little pieces and if you actually go into a charity shop and ask them to if they've got any extras around the back because I worked in my nan's charity shop for a little bit I say a little bit probably like two weekends never mind but um if you ask them then there's loads of stuff behind in the like the room around the back so if you just ask them they might be able to have a look for you and just see you know if you ask them if they've got any candles if they've got any like things like that then they might be able to help you out right so this is the most exciting bit off my haul so far to date coats I know I know I have about 16 million coats I do wear every single one every single daily walk I go on I try and wear a different coat I have been loving I have been favouring my brown North Face recently I have been favouring that because that was an investment I say investment it was actually a bit of a bargain because I found it on Depop and it wasn't for like 500 quid that these some Depop sellers are trying to sell it for but because you go I wouldn't I wouldn't pay that for a coat no, no matter how much I loved it but um I am trying to wear a different one every day to get my wear out of all of my different coats but I actually found these two lurking around the charity shop one my mum found because I actually introduced my mum to charity shopping when we had a little day out before lockdown it was such a lovely day we actually went to this little cafe down the village we had the biggest plate of food that i've ever seen like it was beautiful anyway i'm going off track but i thought i'd show you this bad boy this again this video does not do this justice but it is this shirling faux shirling coat with this really unique embroidery now some of you might hate this and I completely understand because it is a very level hate coat. You, I did I did have to keep kind of like looking at it and thinking do I want it? But how much was it? This was, I swear this was literally like, how much was this? Like it was literally like a five pound, like guys, do you know what I mean? But it's got this embroidery, I think this is really unique. I think that it makes it, but you know, you might not like this. But look at it, it's so warm, it's literally, the most stunning queen coat and it's just so nice like this on like a winter's walk some leather leggings some boots you know the drill you know the drill i think it's just very very classy then i got this bad boy now i already have a faux leather coat i say coat it's more of like a jacket from um from sheen but obviously i'm not going to turn down another one um my mum found this when we were shopping and she was like try it on try it on um it could probably do with like a belt or something um because i did buy a belt but it's not quite how i want it to look but it is this faux leather trench very chintzier bailey Sulo vibes dare i say but it's really really long really shiny and i wore this on my daily walk yesterday and i did feel like a bit of a bad bee i was walking down the street like yes 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 i just think this is beautiful and a trench coat is always definitely a need like i'd say like everybody needs to have a trench coat a trench coat in their wardrobe whether it's material whether it's um nude khaki black whatever whatever you want i think a trench coat is definitely an essential when it's just like that's a good spring coat because it's not very warm so in spring you could wear that and it would just I feel like it would be a really nice coat in this like transitional these transitional months but yes that's all I've got for you today my loves um 
I really hope you enjoyed this because I've been wanting to film this for the longest time and I'm actually really excited that you guys get to see this. Um, obviously the only negative of a charity shop haul is that you guys cannot go and buy these items because obviously it's just kind of one first come first serve sort of thing. But I just wanted to use this to show you that there, there are options. Like don't cut out charity shops because honestly the things that you can get in charity shops are just unbelievable and I am 100% an advocate for them. So please try your best to just pop down and if something doesn't fit maybe think about what you could do with it if you've if you're quite a creative person not me because i literally just well I, I am creative but not when it comes to actually making things um so i would just recommend that you just have a think about what you can do with things how you can style things um if you need to go back you could always ask them to hold it for you for a little bit so yeah just have a little have a little peruse as we like to say but I hope you all have a great week. Um, I'm going to post this on... Should I post this on Monday? Should we, do, should we do two videos next week? Should we do two? If I post this on Monday, I could then maybe post it again. Post another one on Thursday. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm loving filming at the moment. Especially with my new little setup. I'm really, really enjoying it. So... What video should we do next? I'm not going to put that gift guide up until second week of Feb, so I've got another, got another few videos to plan. Might do a get ready with me. Would you guys want to see that? Like a get ready with me. What how like makeup I do in lockdown, things like that. Should we, should we do that, or should we do maybe a a morning routine? I don't know. I'll put another poll up on my Instagram tomorrow when we can decide, so I can film one tomorrow and pop it up. But I hope you all have a fab week and I love you all lots and happy Saturday. Hey guys, how are we all doing? Uh, before I jump on it in while I was editing this video because basically I got my mum to watch some of my YouTube videos and she said, she gave me some criticism, positive criticism and apparently I played my hair too much for one and what else was it? can't remember but I want you all to take a shot every time I play with my hair in this video, specifically this movement, the Debbie Ryan. Take a shot because it's actually quite embarrassing how many times I do it. So yeah, I just wanted to jump on in here and let you guys know. But um, also really exciting just as, again, because I'm quite excited. I actually got um, a few deliveries this week. So I thought maybe I'd do another haul. Um, before I post the next video that I've got in mind. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. But yeah, I thought I'd pop on a bit of midweek realness for you because it's been quite a stressful day. So just thought I'd hop on and yeah, just let you know that drinking games for Friday, absolutely sorted, come on. You know, if you're doing Zoom with the girls, then take a shot every time I say um and, how, and every time I tuck my hair behind my ear. So there we go. Anyway, I'll see you all next Wednesday for my next video. Bye, guys.